Hi everybody and a warm welcome back to Maple Leaf Customs in Switzerland. I'm Andrew and on the bench today is a 1 to 64 scale Hot Wheels 1953 custom Cadillac. It's been turned into an El Camino style pickup vehicle. It's got a downhill racer on the bed too. That's kind of cool. Although it's banged up and worn out, it's a special casting to me because this was a birthday present to me from my one and only granddaughter, Margot. I received this while I was home in Canada recently on a summer vacation. Well, yesterday was Margot's 10th birthday. So this one's getting customized and going right back to her to be added to her collection of MLC Customs. She's already got a Ford Anglia for me, which now sits on her Harry Potter shelf. So happy birthday, Margot. I wish I wasn't so far away on these special days. Now that it's apart, you can see all the bits and pieces of the caddy. There's a plastic interior and a plastic base on this with quite a bit of rust underneath, which makes me think it's either been left outside or forgotten in the bathtub at one point, but that's easily fixed up. I'm going to swap out these wheels for a nice Samed upgrade anyways. So off they go. And we've got some pretty good bones to work with here. So we're off to a good start. All right. Look at those big bullets on the front grille. Classic 53 Cadillac styling. You picked out a nice casting, Margo. I really like this one. Into the paint stripper. And I'll speed this up, fast forward it for you. This is everybody's favorite part to watch that old paint blister up. So I know it's going to brush off easily. Just like zombie skin. And we're down to the bare metal. At this stage, I always take a wire brush attachment on my Dremel tool and go over the whole casting. This smooths it out, prepares it to receive the primer and the paint. Careful to go slow and get inside all those nooks and crannies and crevices. And I switch attachments here so I can get a little deeper into the truck bed. There are some casting lines that need to be given attention, and why not? It's about a five minute process here, and having done that, I'm always very happy that I get a nicer paint finish in the end. So fine tooth files is all it takes, and then I put a Scotch-Brite attachment on. I go over the whole car again to remove any abrasions or scratches from the files. Such a great era of car design, wasn't it? Today's community shout out goes to some fellow Canadians and it's Norm and Vern Racing on YouTube. They've just passed 500 subscribers. Congratulations guys and I hope you get a little bit more traffic from this shout out because you've got a really interesting and creative channel. I can tell you that coming up very soon on my channel is my very first Trash Bash Space Cruiser. My wife Petra is going to do this month's Four Horsemen build on the Paint It Pink theme for breast cancer awareness, due date October 31st. Everybody's invited to participate, as always, and I hope you will, because it's a great cause. Okay, Margot, it's time to paint the little caddy, first with a primer application. After that sets up and dries, I give the whole car a white base coat because that's the color the roof will remain in. But now I'm going to take a basic hardware store spray can and decant the paint, because I really like this purple with a metallic fleck in it. So I take a plastic mixing cup, cover up the nozzle, and just spray as much as I want into here. And look at that, that's gonna go into my airbrush, and then I have more control over the application of the paint, much better than the heavy covering that you get blasting it right out of the can. And as you can see here, as I remove the masking, I've got a very nice result. It does require 
a little bit of touch up with my brush, especially at the bottom of the A pillars there. And that's easily done. Beautiful. Okay, the paint is drying up and curing, and I go to work on these rusty old plastic bits that you saw when I took it apart originally, and I clean it just so it's better for handling and peace of mind. This old windshield is of that soft plastic variety. I've had a couple of those in a row, but it'll clean up well. Off with the original Hot Wheels steering wheel, sorely lacking in attention to detail. Clip it off with my nippers, and I'm going to replace that with a 3D printed steering wheel. Like this, kind of a 50s style. A little pilot hole with my pin vise so that the stem of the steering wheel will seed itself in there, but a little bit of super glue for a secure application. And that's all going to get painted up into a white leather interior. Whoa! Speaking of paint jobs, <laughs> this old girl needs one too. But wouldn't you agree, they're great looking cars no matter what condition they're in. According to the Hot Wheels fandom site, this one debuted in the 2009 New Model series, was designed by Larry Wood, and has been in production since 2009 with the number N4018. It's based on the Eldorado, if I'm not mistaken, a luxury car manufactured and marketed by Cadillac from 1952 until 2002, over 12 generations. The Eldorado was at or near the top of the Cadillac line, being the most expensive model that Cadillac offered at the time. I'm doing some more hand brushing here. As per the original casting, a couple of these side panel features were also originally in black. I'm using a semi-gloss on this. And the bottom lip of the front grill was also in black. Gold is going to be the color for all of the accents, accessories, and accoutrements on the Cadillac. So I'm brushing the downhill racer in that color. And I'm going to do the side, what would originally been chrome panels in gold with some careful masking using Tamiya Hobby Tape. If you take your time here and make sure those edges are well pressed down, I just use my fingernail or a toothpick sometimes. Mask off the rest of the car with painter's tape in matching purple. And I give that a quick shot of metallic gold, also decanted from a spray can, into my airbrush for better control. By the way, the whole casting has been clear coated and cured before the masking, which ensures when you peel it off at this stage, you don't lose any paint. And it looks like this. Alright, that stands out beautifully against the purple body. Margo, just so you don't forget, you got this one from Opa's Workshop. There's a Maple Leaf Customs channel logo on the bottom. It's starting to take good shape. I had previously chromed the taillights and let that dry up, so now I can apply some clear orange for the rear blinkers or indicators. This is some clear red just shows up better and I think more realistically over top of the chrome. All you've got to be able to do here is basically stay inside the lines, which I managed to do this time. <laughs> There's the original Hot Wheels. They're not terribly bad and they could have been fixed up, but they're just hard plastic and I prefer to do a Sam Ed Wheels upgrade to five spoke gold, that's my accent color for the caddy, and these are real rubber in the exact same size and width, so I know they're going to fit the wheel wells, but the axles are a little bit long. Sam Ed does that so that you can make your own adjustments, as I'm going to have to do here, by clipping off the end to the right length, 
take some fencing pliers and give that a pinch on the end. It looks like this, just flattens it out and you're never going to see that because it's inside the hub but look how beautifully it spins and on they go a little touch of super glue inside those three tabs that were bent outwards to remove the axles I've tightened them back up a sprinkle of baking soda on top and I've got a nice upgrade here Repeat on the back tires and look at it go. I encourage you to visit www.samedwheels.com to make your next order of wheels. And when you do, use the promo code Maple Leaf to receive a free gift with every order. There's only one decal in this whole project. I printed out a Cadillac hood emblem about as small as I can. So it's unmistakably a caddy. Now that it's all been clear coated and cured, it's ready to reassemble, starting with the refurbished glass. The white leather interior also houses the downhill racer in the back, and I did a little bit of detail work on the undercarriage to match the gold accent theme. The wheels are moving freely. I always check that before I lock down with these 256 Phillips head screws. And the 10th birthday 53 Cadillac was all finished, but then I decided there's a couple of important changes I have to make, Margo. I didn't like the chrome grill with the gold accents, so I painted that gold. And I'm redoing the headlights with perfectly round decals because my hand painted job under high definition inspection. Well, they weren't my very best <laughs> to date. These look much better. So now we can take a closer look. I love the white and purple contrast, and look at the great glossy finish I got on that. Gold highlights from front to back, top to bottom. Yeah, the headlights are much better now. There's the downhill racer standing out. Beautiful taillight detail some black highlights as well it came out so well just a little bit of gold on the bottom to keep in with the theme Margo you picked out such a beautiful casting to give me and I hope you're pleased with the way I've customized it just for you for your 10th birthday I was immediately attracted to the shape and the styling of this 53 Custom, but it looked old and tired out and needed a dressing up, and this is my reimagining of the Eldorado. The LED lights are just bouncing off that clear coat so well. It's an interesting design with the El Camino type styling in the back, but it's still definitely a Cadillac. Goes into a blister pack with a special birthday issue on the picture. And Margo, this is coming your way, not in time for your birthday, but it'll be part of the Christmas package that gets mailed from Switzerland to Canada. A very happy birthday, my little one. I love you so much. Thanks for watching the special video I made for you, and thanks to everyone who visited my channel today. Leave your respectful comments below, and be sure to say happy birthday, Margot. Come on back soon and often. It's coffee time.